Before Jesus was taken to be crucified, he was praying. And he said to his father, if you can take this away from me, if you can stop this, that would be great. But your will be done. So Jesus was afraid. At the very least, he was not looking forward to the pain he was about to endure. He knew it was going to be very difficult. And then it's very interesting in Matthew 26 and 27, there's three different times when he's being heavily accused and every time it says he chooses to remain silent. And I wonder why did he remain silent? And I believe the entire time he was hearing from his father. He chose He could only have one conversation, right, at the time. He could either be defending himself or conversing with the people accusing him, or he could be hearing from his father and gaining strength from God. What I believe is that as we walk through life, whether we're worried about financial situations or our kids or marriage or relationships or jobs or whatever it might be, we can focus on one of two things. We can be having conversations with the events around us and the people around us and be doing our best out of our strength to make them better. Or we can walk through them almost silently. I don't mean don't open your mouth, but people will say, wow, how can you be so calm? Wow, how can you not have so many things to say? Wouldn't you want to fight with everything you have for this? And you say, I am, but I'm doing it in my heart. I'm hearing from God through this whole situation and he's leading me even in the midst of the storm in a very calm and powerful way, knowing that his plan is greater than anything I could come up with on my own. Choose his strength in a conversation with him over yours and your conversations with others.